Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to construct an involute of a circle of radius 50 mm. So for this to draw in the AutoCAD, first we will open the AutoCAD and since we know the circle, so I am pressing circle command, it is asking specify center point of the circle, the center point is taken and I am drawing the circle, it is an already color so let me change it. So in the properties toolbar, I am changing into the layer option and I am selecting circle command, specify center point of the circle and radius it is asking and the question it is given 50 mm, so 50 mm circle is dropping. And uh, as per the rules, we need to draw the straight line that is of the distance perimeter. So from here, I need to draw a perimeter like this, like a straight line. To it to be straight line, I have to keep ortho position on here. So ortho is on and uh, so I'll draw it like this. This is of length how much is of perimeter. So first we need to know the perimeter. So for knowing the perimeter, for uh, like a triangle or square it is easy. Just side into number of sides. But for the circle it is 2 pi r, right? So for that we need to calculate. So here this is 2, this is the pi value and this is the radius it is given in the question. So we'll get 314 mm. So 314 is to be length which I should draw. So I will draw like this with 314 mm and I will finish the diagram. So then press escape so that it will come out of the screen. So if you are drawing for a triangle then we will divide this perimeter into uh, 3 parts. If you are drawing for a square you will divide it into 4 parts. If it is for a pentagon 5 parts, hexagon 6 parts. Okay. But what about circle? For circle we can go with either 8 points or 12 points depending on the number of parts you want to divide the circle into. So here in this case I am interested to draw it with 8 parts. So first I will divide this line into 8 parts as well as I will divide this circle into 8 parts. For that simply I will draw the diameter of the circle from this quadrant point to this quadrant point you can see. And I will divide this straight line by using the command div that is escape. DIV division and select the straight line and divide it into 8 segments. So it is divided into 8 segments, but it is not visible. You can see here it is divided into 8 segments, but it is not visible. For it to be visible, I'll go for format point style and change the point style like this and press OK. So 8 points are obtained here. Now by using the polar array, so if I'll go for array option and I'll go for polar array. In this polar array, I will select the objects. So I will select the straight line as well as these points which are obtained. And also I will select the straight line because I want to divide this circle also into 8 parts. So this straight line and all these points which are obtained on this perimeter line, I will select these all points and press enter. Then it will ask specify center point. So center point, I will pick it the center point of this smaller circle, whatever the circle is there. So this is the circle. And number of items is 8 because I want to divide this circle into 8 parts. Since I have already divided this straight line into 8 parts. So I will go for 8 parts. And angle is always 360 here. Then go for OK. So now you got the whatever the perimeter line is there that is repeated at each and every point and this circle is divided into 8 parts. Whatever this circle is divided into 8 parts you can see. See here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 parts it is divided and each and every part the points are obtained you can see here. So simply you go for polyline command. This is the 0th point from 0th point until first point then second point then third point of this third point and fourth point at this location and 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth point at this location and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, sixth point at this location and 7th point at this location and finally 8th point that is the final point at this location. So draw it very carefully. If you are having any doubt give the numbering directly after numbering is given then go for drawing or selecting the points. So first point on the first line, second point on the second line, third point on the third line, fourth point on the fourth line, fifth point on the fifth line and sixth point on the sixth line, seventh point on the seventh line and eighth point that is the last point on the so whatever the curve or whatever the polyline is obtained, select it and use PE that is PE enter. Escape PE 
enter once you select the polyline then it will ask options in that you use fit option so once you fit it escape you can see the uh, invalid is absolutely created so you can see it is coming ridiculously all these things are ridiculously showing so select everything and use trim option just, just simply remove unnecessary things whatever the unnecessary extra things are there remove so what are the extra curve or the straight lines are extended and removing them and what are the extra points are there i'm deleting them so these two are not necessary this is not necessary here these three are not necessary so whatever the unnecessary points are there i'm selecting everything and i'll use simply delete option so this is the involute of the circle it's very easy when compared with this all other things so simply and here if you want you can go with 12 options also that is so you'll draw the 314 line that is here 314 because the radius is 50 mm if you're taking another you need to calculate and you need to know the perimeter again so once you get the perimeter and uh, if you want you can go with deleting it with i mean uh, division it with uh, 12 points also but at that case the circle should be divided also into 12 parts so whatever the parts you are selecting here on this straight line should be equal to the number of parts which is divided on the circle so if you are taking only four then only four should be division here but for four you will not get the involute in a smooth way so better go with eight that is the optimum condition if you want to go a little further go for 12 that will give you very more accurate curve than this curve so this is how you draw the involute of a circle